hi guys so i've just created this look in less than half an hour of course you know me we don't waste any time when it comes to makeup so i'm just gonna catch up with you i'll come at the beginning with makeup because i thought starting the video with me with no makeup was kind of scary especially since i haven't been on youtube for so long so i thought if i show you what the makeups look like maybe you will stay till the end isn't it? enjoy the video of course like comment you know what to do no makeup today at all let me come and do my makeup and we can have this overdue catch up um your girl's been working your girl's been doing what we do best when we're trying to live life trying to juggle things so youtube has literally been on the back burner for so long and it hasn't really been something i've done on purpose but sometimes you really do have to prioritize youtube was literally the last thing on my mind but i have missed it and i thought let me try at least an attempt to be more consistent because don't get me wrong i enjoy doing these videos and i enjoy catching up with you guys so to, let me just do i'm gonna just do a light makeup because i am um, live in the house let me do it alongside you guys i'm trying a new setup now because we're doing some moving around and decorating in the house i look really dry I look kind of dry kind of crust here but i think it's because i just had the shower and the moisturizer hasn't really done anything for my face so i'm gonna put like a vitamin c toner um or like a serum to kind of boost my skin a little bit i'm gonna use pixie because they're literally the plug at the moment for me for my skin can you already see the difference your girl needed help man i'm telling you i'm gonna go in with the glow tonic serum and just apply a little bit before my foundation if you want me to discuss anything or you want me to talk about anything in particular don't be afraid just send me a dm send me a message i got you i got you and i got you so the first topic for a good comeback video is how to be yourself or how do i manage to be myself in a world where everyone is literally copying everybody or everyone is scared of everyone's opinion or everybody is scared to just be themselves so a lot of people ask me oh flav how do you manage to know to be still um outspoken to do your thing regardless of everything a lot of people ask me like, how do i manage to be just so energetic or whatever it's not that hard people so when my fenty finishes this is probably my next go-to foundation is the nabla cosmetic uh close-up foundation and i range from like d30 to d40 so i can use all three shades depending on on how i feel of course the d30 or d40 is probably best for my skin tone d20 is probably when i want to try and brighten up my face more so it's slightly lighter than it's supposed to be so how do i manage it's simple i just really do not care what people think uh and i never don't get me wrong i wasn't i was never like this especially when i was a kid i used to and even even growing up i'm not gonna lie it has been a journey i used to always used to think oh what do people think will people judge me what will people say to my parents like that was a big thing for me or like oh how would uh, my parents react and that's important i'm not saying it's not like my parents opinion is probably the one i care about the most i don't i couldn't care less about anyone else at the moment i'm in a good place where i believe in myself i believe in what i can do i probably really need to push myself a bit more because i tend to like push a lot of people more than i push myself and that as well no matter how positive and amazing that sound, that's not good. So I'm a firm believer that you should be your biggest fan. Take yourself out. Treat yourself. You want to listen to music, listen to music. You be, you are inviting and you don't want to go out. You don't need to go out. Like, don't, Stop feeling bad. Stop feeling bad and learn to say no. Or learn to say yes when you're scared. Simple. Opportunities 
come and go, but not all the time. And the way I feel is like, if you're not yourself, an opportunity might come and you, because you're scared of what people may think, it might hold you back for something that's meant to be for you. Sorry, you can see, can you see? You can see my lace, but what can I do? I'm still doing my makeup, so please. So, yeah, I usually just go in with a foundation. I'm I'm trying to think if I want a full um full coverage look or I'm okay with just this. It's a nice foundation, like it's really skin like skin looking, so it just looks like I've got good skin. Literally, I'm gonna build it up a bit more so it's a bit obvious that I did my makeup today. Um, another advice I would say is write down what you actually want. So, like, what do you want to achieve this week? What do you want to achieve next month? What do you want to achieve in general? It might be a goal that will take you four, five, ten years to achieve. But write down what you want because even in your low days, yeah, you can refer yourself to the old positive you that was writing down goals and be like, they say, what am I doing, man? This is what I want to be. Let me get out of bed and actually do something towards those goals. So that really helps. I use um, Apple Notes so much. I use my notes so much. Like My notes is literally full. And I love it when I can actually cross things off or delete certain things that I don't need to do because I've done them already. Sorry, the hair is in the way. So yeah, that crossing things off is probably my biggest motivation. Definitely. Like if I can even if it's like a simple day list, but I can actually achieve it, that's amazing to me. That's the best feeling in the world. I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm just doing a simple look today. Actually, I'm 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 tired of my breath, so Gonna go in with my favorite concealer, still by Nabla. I use a lot of their products as I work with them quite a lot. So I only vouch for stuff I actually use all the time. And I tag them on my Instagram quite a lot. So you'll see on the pictures which products I use on which looks. So you can compare and see what you like. Sorry, concentration. I haven't been serious about my makeup for a while. You know, you know what? When you do your makeup properly, religiously, for a long period of time, I swear down, you become so good. And literally, practice, 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 like practice has helped me with my makeup, literally. So, okay, what else? Let's discuss. Um, I'm thinking, sorry. I think if I should put some on my chin, but I'll try and use the excess from underneath my eye. What else helps me with me? Uh, what else helps me to be energetic? Listen, I just love life. I think I just love life. I love music. Music is a big part of my life. Like I can really tell on the days that I'm down if. I can play music like Afrobeats or anything and I can literally feel my mood change just by simply playing music. So it might not be music for you, it might be something else, yeah? But find what you actually, what your your spirit needs, what you need as a person. And if that's you need to, and, that, and if that's what you need to do every morning for five, ten minutes, do it. Don't hold back. How the day unfolds is pretty much based on how you start your day. So if music is what you need to cheer yourself up and to have an amazing day, by all means do it. I read my daily scriptures in the morning. I listen to my music, you know, all of this. I eat because, you know, I love food even more now. And I start my day. If... I have a bad day. If I if I can see that my day is turning into a bad day, it would only be because I haven't done one of my key things in the morning to have a good day. So, sorry guys. I'm looking at my face thinking, what am I doing? I see specks of glitter and I think it's from a palette that's gone on my brush. Ugh. 
I hate glitter. I'm sorry, I'm not a glitter person. You can see that I'm using a brush a moment and not a beauty blender at the moment. Beauty blenders are annoying me, so I'm taking a break. Whew. But I still would I still like a blended uh, I still like a blended um effect, so that's why I'm using uh brushes. Yeah, I think one of my brushes has got glitter from somewhere and I'm not on it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit more because I want that awakened look. Your girl's been sleeping too much. Um, what else? I'm trying to think as I go. It's quite hard to, you know, to do makeup and to think, to think about the makeups, think about yourself, think about what you're saying, think about how you're looking in the camera. I hope the light, lighting is okay. I thought I'd try with the ring light and a little bit of um, daylight, but if that's don't work, then I will try something else, I promise. I have absolutely missed filming so much. But you guys know the editing bit is something else. Um, what else? Helps me to be who I am. I don't know, you know. I don't know. I think I'm just I was always a, I've always been a happy child, so I think it also um if you're still young, young, if you're still young, I mean I'm an old I'm an old woman now. But if you're still young, the way you live your life from now, even at school, at home with your family, really has an impact on how you carry on being when you're older, if that makes sense. So yeah. They call they call me crazy, but if ha being happy all the time means you're crazy, then that's fine. What else help you to be a strong person and helps you not to care about what people think? It's about being sure about who you are, being sure about what you want. So if you're a person that is not quite sure about what you actually want, what you deserve, what how you want people to treat you, what you want to people to give you in return of what you give to them, um you let people walk all over you i don't mean give with the idea of getting something back but at the same time we're humans so i'm if i'm being a good person to you i'm not trying to be around if i'm being a good person or friendly person or energetic person i'm not trying to be around people that can't even give me 50 percent of that energy back because as you know, you are who you are. The people that are around you, or you are the people that are hung around you, or you are your friends. You know how people say. So, sorry guys, I'm just gonna try and do a little bit of my eyebrows. I'm gonna set my concealer. If someone's not treating you the way you wanna be treated, babe, move. Just you're not forced to stay. You can, of course, if it's a relationship that's been. Uh, a relationship with a person that's been with you for a long time by all means uh speak up because the person might not the person might not even know that they're being the way they're being most of the time it's most of the time it's not on purpose it, like uh first i thought i i was the kind of person that always think oh they're actually doing it on purpose but i've learned that sometimes that's just the way people are or that's just the way people have been brought up or you know they've had different traumas in their life that makes them who they are at the moment at the moment so find out because if all the person needs is for you to is for you to tell them that listen i didn't really like what you did and just be honest i mean i'm not on it yeah i'll tell you i'll tell you i didn't like what you did it really hurt me and you know what see what the reply is or see how their attitude how they respond after they can see they've done something wrong if you can see that this person does not care about what they've done and are keeping it moving you keep it moving too shorty no one's forcing you to stay and that goes for friendship that goes for even relationship that even goes for family members because unfortunately you cannot choose your family you really can't i'm gonna be quiet while i do this one sec this is literally like the laziest way to do 
um eyebrows if you really can't be bothered i know this is not how makeup artists do it i'm sorry but um when i'm not in the mood this is how i do my you cannot choose your family as i said you can choose who you're giving your energy to and you can definitely choose who you hang around with no one force you to stay where you are <laughs> definitely not i know i need to fix this one then i cheese Ta -da. so lazy i'm the laziest person when it comes to makeup lately it's really bad but what i'm gonna do to make them look a bit more softer is go in with like a brown um eyeshadow just over it I wish I was like one of those girls that have got like these scouse brows, yeah? And they wake up in the morning and these are the actual brows they've got. But, oh my days. Goals. So choose who it's around you. Your energy is the most important thing in the whole world. When I tell people, they think, oh, flavor this, oh, flavor that, fam. I'm being serious. Don't play with things around you. There's nothing wrong with even having weeks I know I'm not trying to say, oh, completely seclude yourself, but there's nothing wrong with having time for yourself and time with yourself. Because sometimes that's all you really need. But please, please, please enjoy, live your life. Life, the way I, the way I see it, yeah, the way I've learned even from family members, like, uh, passing away as well, is that, like, life is so short. And you cannot, like, even when you have, I've had, moments where i've been depressed i'm not gonna lie i've had moments when i've been down yeah but you need to really try and pull yourself out of it because life is so short life is so short it's sad that life is short but that's the way that's the way it is isn't it what you don't want to do is let life go past you and you haven't truly enjoyed yourself do what you are do what you love do what you you've always wanted to do and when, especially when it comes to like businesses or ideas or hobbies or creative stuff or even a simple thing as a youtube channel like this don't never ever feel like oh there's too many people doing it so i can't do it somebody's out there somebody out there wants to see your stuff shorty somebody out there want to see your ideas your somebody wants your energy mate it's lit it's lit what i do nowadays um is use like a brown brown pencil and then i go in should this should be night morph let me go but and then i go in with night morph from mac just to outline the upper part of my lip so i'll still leave the brown on my bottom lip i'll show you i'll show you what i mean because my english is not good today and i'm gonna let this settle i'm gonna go in with my eyes with this new banking 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 palette from nabla I like this. I actually like it. I like simple makeup. But I'm loving this. I'm loving I'm loving the colors. I actually am. Um last but not least, I'm going to put um mascara and highlighter and I'm done. You don't have too much time for this stuff. The light the sun is coming again. I can see it. So Please, 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 under the comments, put different subjects you want me to talk about. I know today I probably blabbed my way into it, but this is what we do. This is how we start. Otherwise, in my head, I thought, if I don't start today, I'm never going to start. So, um, yeah. In your comments, put, oh, hey, talk about this, talk about that. I know, I know, of course, if you follow me on my Instagram, you'll have the nice little update of my life, which is really exciting. So if you don't know yet, um, you can head to my Instagram to find out what I mean. Uh, but yeah, send me ideas, send me, send me anything you want me to do. Let me try and be more open to crazy things. Gonna finish with a highlighter. We're looking at decent, you know, considering we didn't want to do much. Uh huh. Can you see? Can you see? Girl, we put some on our shoulders, you know, get a popping thing going, put some on our chin, and then some put some on the forehead, small, small. And we're gonna put some on my nose, but I'm trying to figure out what. 
I usually put like a small dot. Yeah, just like a small dot. I don't know if my eyes, do you want my eyes to be a bit more, you know, bling? I'm not sure. Sometimes I do this and then I ruin my makeup, so I try and stop. I'm going to try and use this pink and see if I can do something, you know. Don't laugh. If I ruin my makeup, don't laugh, please. This is what I do. That's why I never, I never ever try experiments because they never work. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to put it on the edge. That's the safest bet. That's the most I'm going to do. I'm scared. But yeah, your girl's done. I'm actually really proud of myself. Let me brush this hair. I need to set it with something because it looks very powdery at the moment. Do you know what I mean? When sometimes you finish your makeup and it's still looking very powdery. I'm going to set my makeup with a glow mist. I know usually you have set in spray, but this will give it like, <coughs> this will give it the shine that I need. Just need to set it now and we are done. Come on guys. Hasn't really taken that long. It took me like half an hour. So that's me signing out. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, we will see you soon.